Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, September 18th, 2024. This is Chief Meteorologist John Answorth for Longmont Public Media. Uh, we did have a very nice partial eclipse at our full moon, and it was also a super moon, which, okay, whatever. It's a little bit bigger that most people wouldn't notice. Um, but we, we have a third quarter moon now on Tuesday the 24th. Get up early to see that. I realized uh, all, all these years that I didn't have the sunrise sunset time, and I should probably get the daylight duration or something in there too, but... Um, sun actually quieted down after hitting us with a uh, coronal mass ejection and I got pictures of uh, Aurora just right in Longmont. It was crazy. Um, sunrise 6 47 a.m. sunset 6 58 on Saturday. So I'll do the rise and set times in the halfway point through the forecast period. Looking at drought conditions really the only thing that changes is way out uh, west um, and drought out here in the East gets a little worse. Uh, we're in the worst of the drought, but that's only severe drought because there's two more categories beyond that uh, in Longmont down to Denver. Nationally, um, things got a little worse in the east. Hurricane or two might just take care of that. Um, <clears throat> and everything is just a little drier because uh, of all the heat. Uh, amazing break from the smoke. Fires seem to be more under control out in the west, and uh, some big old blob probably from earlier stuff has drifted off, and we're in the clear right now. I'm amazed and pleased. Uh, not a lot of rain fell over the last seven days. Most of it was in the southwest corner. There was some almost everywhere, uh, but just hundredths of an inch or so. All right, just probably one or two more weeks of this animation, taking a look at the climatology, the expected possibilities for severe weather, and it really shrinks. We're at the fourth week of September. I think I had this up early last week, so same thing you saw then. But it uh, doesn't keep us from having severe weather. So it was Tuesday this week that we had football games and things, high school, canceled way out on the plains because of uh, a slight and even enhanced risk of strong damaging winds and hail today that is or wednesday's uh further out to the east uh up into the north the severe weather definitely shifts into canada more at the late summer and then friday as the next system starts to get together convection is possible but not around the northern i-25 corridor so we did have a front come through on wednesday and it's pushing and moderating and warming up behind until the next system comes. Temperatures are dropping very fast now. It's a four degree drop in expected high temperatures from 77 to 73. We may have seen our final 90s uh, just a couple days ago. I think that might be it because it's going to be really hard to <coughs> push against that normal. 47 to 43 at night won't be long until we have 30s as our expected low and better start thinking about sprinkler system blowouts and such. Our Friday, uh, sorry, Saturday Sunday storm is very clearly visible here. Then another possible system moving in is less of a strong signal early next week. Really dry currently. Very clear out there from uh, the school I teach at. Second floor you can see Pikes Peak. So that's that's seeing a mountain down by Colorado Springs. That's crazy. Okay, so the next system does come in. Uh, you can see mountain snows are definitely on the map by Saturday evening. Uh, Sunday, really heavy rain and snow. Uh, this has changed a lot, model to model run. So uh, I'm still not very confident. And it's also, uh, this is the first snow forecast of the season. And models and people usually do badly. Uh, it's like we're, we forget how to look at snow. Uh, but you can see pretty good heavy snow in there right next to very heavy rain. And the snow continues in the mountains on Sunday morning. I'm camping right in the middle of that right there. So, oh boy. Okay, let's put it all in motion. We have a ridge that's moved out over Texas. Here comes the cutoff low that's going to drift kind of slowly past Colorado, 
giving us this weekend storm. Yeah, it goes right overhead, so we get the maximum cooling. And it kind of fits just inside Colorado. It's not a big, huge regional national storm. There's the Tuesday trough coming through. It's nice to see troughs back. There's the ridge that was with us all summer, uh, actually progressing through this piece gets left behind and kind of rolls around. That's that little bit of chance of rain that, and precipitation that you saw later in the ensemble. Then this big ridge is establishing itself to our west. That gives us north winds. And then if you notice in the Gulf, there's some big uh, system. Now that is not even um, an area of investigation for the Hurricane Center. It's something that the model is generating. <coughs> so definitely don't start boarding up uh, windows in the Gulf here. I'm just going to play this again so we can watch this thing. It, it's a major hurricane if this actually does form and do uh, does what it can. And here it is coming out of the Yucatan and our western Gulf of Mexico, which is very warm. And it has a wind field that very clearly fills the entire Gulf really intensifies in there and gets really close to New Orleans over to Pensacola like that it may not be in the next run at all so we'll see take a look at temperatures here really warm with the ridge moving to the east you can see some cool air coming in and then this is the cold front that brings in that system or vice versa much below normal temperatures it gets left behind in that cutoff low that blob <clears throat> so, yeah, still remaining cooler than normal on Tuesday, Wednesday with that next trough. That sinks down and sits south of us and then kind of drifts back a little bit, colder in the mountains. It's not till the end of this cycle that we kind of settle into above normal again, but by then the normals are a lot lower. All right, precipitable water. You can see the moisture coming in as the low forms Saturday right there really kind of pumps it up into the mountains and northeast <coughs> and that moves on <coughs> the next trough brings in <coughs> some more moisture and here comes that uh, possible tropical system no name no <coughs> real sign that it will be real but it's keep an eye on the southern tropics there something else happening over here coming to new england so yeah interesting dew points don't get really high but if the system's as cold as it is it's not like summer and it can work with 30s and 40s dew points in fact if you're gonna get snow you can't have uh dew points much above 30 too so <clears throat> yeah that's it's really a good juicy system for what it is for the strength of the cold air. Let's take a look at the system in motion. You saw the close-up frames from the same model. And we are high and dry going into the weekend, which is nice. I'm going to set up my tent and get ready. And then come boom, it really goes for about 18 hours. And then away it, it sails with the Tuesday system looking like that. A little showers coming through. So over the next five days, the GFS goes crazy. Now it's, it's moved the south, east, it's moved it north. It's made it stronger, weaker, run to run. So there's still lots of variability in the model. Um, this is kind of where it seems to be settling, which is a lot of water. That's two inches, two and a half inches around Longmont. Um, one and a quarter all the way up into the mountains. Uh, campground is up here. So even if we don't get a lot of snow, it, uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of water. <laughs> uh, GFS has gone crazy on this too sometimes. It's, this is one more middle road run right now. And that puts me in the five to eight inch snow area for Sunday morning. I've never taken a snow shovel camping with me. It might be a good idea. Some areas are pretty severe, over a foot of snow. Uh, maybe a dusting in Boulder, that's possible. Uh, over the next 10 days, the additional system puts a little more water down. And the next 10 days, not much more in the way of snow. All right, so we go, we get done with flirting with uh, 90s, maybe on Friday. Hopefully not. Maybe, hopefully we stay in the 
uh, 80s and below. Really good chance of rain. Probably should bump that to 100% now. But there was a, a model run that showed no rain at all in Longmont. And then the next one was two inches. So yeah, crazy. Uh, what do you do with that? Um, so I'm putting a little uncertainty in there, leaving 80, 60% for uh, Sunday morning with temperatures flirting with the 30s. And then we have our Tuesday chance of rain and another cool down. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth urging you to keep looking up.